published 2058 est, the 10th of November 2017 updated 1333 est, the 11th of November 2017 air strikes by the Sadild coalition left at least three civilians wounded in Yemen's rebel-held capital Sana'a, witnesses said. The strikes, which took place late on Friday, hit a residential area near the Ministry of Defense building, which had been targeted just before. The coalition has targeted the nearby defense ministry in the past, leaving it heavily damaged, but the fresh strikes come amid a ratcheting up of tensions between Saudi Arabia and its rival Iran, which backs the Houthi rebels. People inspect the rubble of houses destroyed by earlier Sadhild airstrikes in Sana'a, Yemen. Tribesmen loyal to Houthi rebels chant slogans during a gathering aimed at mobilizing more fighters Yemenis wait to collect drinking water from a donated water pipe. The UN has warned that Yemen faces the largest famine the world has seen for many decades. Saudi Arabia and its allies shut down Yemen's borders earlier this week after intercepting a ballistic missile fired by the Houthis near Riyadh airport on Saturday. Local resident Mohammed Aatif said I was sitting at home and heard the first strike hit the Ministry of Defense. Everyone was afraid. Minutes later, another strike hit my neighbor's house. My entire house shook. Aaatif, who fled with his family from the neighborhood, said the strike destroyed his neighbor's house, leaving an enormous crater, and damaged others. Witnesses said the number of casualties may rise as wounded are pulled from the rubble. Motorcyclists wait in line to buy fuel at a petrol station amid fuel shortages in Sana'a. Supporters of former Yemeni President Ali Abdullah Saleh gather in Sana'a. The United Nations has listed Yemen as the world's number one humanitarian crisis. The Sadild coalition is still blocking desperately needed UN aid deliveries to Yemen despite the reopening of the Yemeni port of Aden and also a land border crossing. The rebels have threatened additional attacks on Saudi Arabia and its coalition partner the United Arab Emirates in response to the blockade. The United Nations said on Friday that the coalition is still blocking desperately needed UN aid deliveries to Yemen despite the reopening of the Yemeni port of Aden and also a land border crossing. This week, UN aid chief Mark Lowcock warned the Security Council that, unless the blockade was lifted, Yemen would face the largest famine the world has seen for many decades, with millions of victims. The world body has listed Yemen as the world's number one humanitarian crisis, with 17 million people in need of food, 7 million of whom are at risk of famine. More than 2,000 Yemenis have died in a cholera outbreak now affecting nearly 1 million people. Saudi Arabia and its allies intervened in neighboring Yemen in March 2015 with the stated aim of rolling back heavy rebel gains and restoring the government of President Abidrabo Mansur Hadi to power. The Houthis continue to control the capital Sana'a and much of Yemen's north. The conflict has left more than 8,650 people dead, including many civilians.